Okay, so we are, this is the theory 3 of the circle's theorem, the continuation. Now, we have this as theory 3. Now, theory 3 says that when a diameter sustains an angle to the circumference of the circle, that angle there is 90 degrees. So from here, if I turn it like this, we can see that this is a diameter, right? It's a line. It's not a chord. That is the center. So this is a diameter. So because this is a diameter, it moves like this. It's the, it's the, the diameter moves like this to the circumference over here. Now moving here, and it makes this angle at 90 degrees. You see, the diameter is moving. They are all moving like this to this side of the circumference. So it makes this side, you know, 90 degrees. Are we good? So now... Uh, that is the that is the that is the rule. So simply with this one, let's create use a question to solve. Let's assume that this is a question. Then we are have to find this angle. We are finding. We are finding angle QPR. We are finding angle QPR with this question. Here is fifty eight. We have to find this angle. Now we know that the diameter substance an angle here. Right, so this side is 90 degrees. So automatically, this side, let me use the red. This side here is 90 degrees. And you know that the shape inside the triangle is a, sorry, the, it's the shape inside the circle is a triangle. And we know the interior angles of a triangle, right? When we add up interior angles of a triangle, we get what? We get 180. So now we know here to be 50, 80. We know here to be what? 90. So we have to find here. Okay, so simply this how this how it will be. So, it's going to be uh, PQR plus QRP plus RPQ. It's equal to one, 180. But we know that this one, the PQR, the angle PQR is 90 degrees from the question. Or from the from the from the theory of uh, uh, theory three, he says that when a, when a diameter substance an angle to the circumference, that that angle is ninety degrees, and we know that QRP that is this side is what fifty eight degrees. Then we are finding what angle P R P Q. Sorry, so it's one eighty. So we we'll add them. You understand? So when I add it, I'm going to get one forty eight. One forty eight plus angle. RPQ being equal to 180. Are we good? So now we will make a uh, angle RPQ the subject. So we get angle RPQ, angle RPQ being equal to 180 minus 148. So angle RPQ will be equal to 32 degrees, just like that. Just like that. Now let's take another example. Okay, now the theory four. Now, the 24 says that this is how the 24 looks like. Now, what we have here, what I can say is the X and Y we have here are from the first theory. We are saying that uh, two of this angle makes this angle, right? And the same thing to the M and N. Two of one makes the other. Uh, now, and this and this, M and N. So let me write, let me do some small writings over here. So we will say that x will be equal to 2 of y because this x here is equal to 2 of this y 2 of this y it will give you this x and also with this side too and also 2 of n will give you m now one more thing we have to write is x plus m will give you uh, 360 degrees and also x plus n will also give you 360 degrees. So these are the uh, things we uh, when we are using the theory 4 or when we have a question and it looks uh, theory 4, that's how we will go about it. Now let's take a question or two on this very one. So let's take an example like this. Okay, so we have this as a question. So we should find X and Y. This is the question. So now with this question, I would like to, I'll use this as the only question I'm solving under the theory for. Explain it very well. A similar question came in the 2021 uh, WASI, of which I used two two different um, two different ways to solve a question like this. If you've not watched this video, after this one, you can click on the link above this one. Yes, so that you can just watch that question too as well. Good. So now let's let's move straight to it. This one I'll use just only one formula, but if you check, click on that, you get more uh, an, 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 another way of doing it. Now, 
as we have the diagram here, I can choose to divide the, this, the, this side into two or join another chord from here to this side. Now, if I draw this chord, it will make this angle here. So let me label here A, B, C, and D. Now, you see this side, this side will be a triangle. And this side will also be a triangle. And that is an isosceles triangle because this is a radius. And this will also a new radius that I did. So radius, radius is to make the base be the same. If I turn it like this, this is the base. So if this is the base, then here will also be 23. Are we good? Now, if I turn it like this too as well, this one will also be a base. So if here is 43, here too will become 43. Are we good? Which means that the total for here and here will give us, that is um, 23 plus 43. That is what, 76. So here is 76 degrees. That's the top there, it's 78, uh, 76 degrees. Now, considering this angle, uh, this triangle here, the triangle we have here, we have to find this angle here. After that, we use this triangle to find this angle here. So when we add the two, that will be the X that we need before we come to the Y. So let's do that. So, triangle X, D, C. I'm talking about this triangle. It's going to be 23 plus 23 plus X being equal to 180. And I'm going to get 56 plus X being equal to 180. So X will be equal to 180 minus 56. So our X will be equal to 124. So this is uh, the, our, 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 our X for this corner here, here is 124. Now we're about to buy, find this side, then add the two to get uh, the full X. Now, uh, in triangle ADX, ADX, we are saying that 43, oh, 43 plus 43 plus X will give you 180. And this has given me 86 plus X will give you 180. You're going to get X equal to 180 minus 86. So S will give us 94. So it means that this side also is 94. So X will be 124 plus 94. So our X will be equal to uh, 8, uh, 1, 2, 18 degrees. 218 degrees. That's for the X. Now let's come to the Y side. We, kn we know that... Two of this will give you this. Two of Y here will give you this. So we know that two of Y will give you X. But we know X to be what? 218. So we know that two of Y will be equal to X. But X, we know X to be equal to 218 from what we saw. So I'm going to get 2y will be equal to 218. So we divide both sides by 2 to find y. So we'll get y to be equal to uh, 100 and 109. That's 109 degrees. 109 degrees. So that is the degree, uh, that's the uh, uh, portion for y. We have 109 degrees. And the x is what? 218 degrees. So the theory four. So this question theory three and theory four. Thank you very much. What are for theory five and six and also theory seven and eight? Have a nice day. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Stay blessed.